Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Okay, video is over. No, it is not. Let me tell you <laughs> something. I never played a single Stanley Parable incarnation. You did not play the original mod. You did not play the 2013 release, and you and you have not played this. Exactly. Yes. Okay. So I played the 2013 release. So. What the fuck is this acid trip of the monitors? Yeah, is that neat? I wonder how they do that. How do they do that? But it's source shenanigans. All right, start the game. The end is never. The end is never. The end is loading. This is the, the story end is never. of a man named Stanley. Last Stanley name, worked Carol. for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He was 47 the second. In room 427, <laughs> and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul rending, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. I absolutely wouldn't mind a job. And then just one day, buttons. something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened, this complete isolation. Something was I think very the combine wrong. Happened. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Oh. Okay, well, okay immediately, you don't even want to look around? What Shit, calm mean? down. <laughs> Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Uh, where is this meeting room? Okay, so the way this game works is that there are a number that of different- That is straight up Half-Life. Fucking Half-Life. All right, the way this game works is there is a lot of different endings. The first ending you get is basically the decision that you would make in this situation. Hmm. This, so just calm down. Take a look around. Take in the world. Push the button. There you go. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door you on can't his left. Jump. No, you can't jump. Door on his left? Okay. So, what happens uh, in this plot? We'll play the game and figure it out, you fool! <laughs> Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Oh. <laughs> ah, the broom club. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. Hmm, that's pretty funny. Uh, let's see. You, there's a whole bunch Coming of stuff you can stay in there Stanley long enough. Stanley walked upstairs hmm? to his boss's office. You can stay in the broom closet long enough, and the narrator was like, what are you doing? Fair enough, uh, that's it? No. Okay, the obviously open has been hotel, the fuck? <laughs> Uh, there, check the bathroom. Is that the toilet? Yeah. Yes, a bathroom is a toilet. I was asking that door. Money in the morning, money in the evening, money for breakfast, money crisp. Also oh, that's as weird. Tuis. I was playing this earlier today, and the thing I got is like, I love money, and I'll get money all I want. Hey, that's a nice purse you have. My name is Cave Johnson. I'll rob your money. Damn. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this, what dark secret was being held from him. What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. 
2845. But okay. of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. You know he I can hear you, into right? The newly opened <laughs> passageway. I swear, he doesn't acknowledge me speaking, even though I can blatantly hear him. Uh So, where's Alex? Yeah, where's Alex? Down into the depths of the facility you move. Yeah, but do you Descending get it? deeper into the yeah, building, kind of, yeah. Stanley this elevator kind of looks like in Half Life 2. Peculiar. Yes, I understand. There is a <laughs> motion in his chest. You know, the Half Life 2 elevator. He's shut up! Himself, to question the nature of his. The job. one that doesn't make you fall to your death. Feel this Listen to the narrator, you fool! It had never occurred to him. This question would not go unanswered for long. Uh, I did not do that. Yes, you did. Stanley walked elevator. straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Hmm. Either find out the truth or leave in ignorance. Or just leave. Eh, I'm gonna find out what it is. It's time for your brains to get sniffed. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, light bulb. I have an idea. The lights rose no, on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength? No, I was wondering why you don't hear me, you liar. Damn. There's a well lying bitch. <laughs> okay, let's see. Desks just being like, um. Yeah, to be honest, they look very budgeted. Damn. Now the monitors jumped to life, their true nature Fired. revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Oh, look. That's our screen, and that's our office. I'm glad to see the accuracy in it. Yeah. Yeah, even though this feels like a total ripoff on the Matrix. If what you mean. <laughs> this mind well, it's like this one scene in the Matrix facility. where it's like a whole room of TV. It's horrible to believe it couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this yeah, I time? I hate it when I go into a security room and I see all these TVs and I go, damn it, stop ripping off the Matrix. emotions had been manipulated <laughs> to accept it blindly. No. He refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never! It was unthinkable. Wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? Can I get some lights here? Thank but here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy, or sad, or content. Walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. He began by eating everything. Well, that's not a bad idea. Okay, Buns, let's see what you taste like. Mmm, the lime. Hmm, I thought it was great. <laughs> Do green is grapes to you? Uh, yeah. Don't you eat green grapes? I mean, sure, but grape is more of a purple. Okay, how do you... How do you smash this place? They try it through the doors. Yeah, I'm guessing it has to be uh, touched by appropriate numbers or something. That I can hardly see this. Mind controls idle awaiting input. And when power. at last he found the source of the room's power, he knew it was his duty, his obligation, to put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. Oh, what you're saying is I turn off. Okay. You push the big white button that says off. 
Um, just give me a minute. Hello, I'm kind of blind here. Blackness <laughs> and a rising chill of uncertainty. Was it over? Yes. He had won. He had defeated the machine. Unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how cool. many puzzles still lay unsolved. Um. Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps Sorry, his goal had not been door. to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. And that was all he needed to know. It was, perhaps, the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. Want to um, know the weirdest experience I ever had? Uh, what's the weirdest? Stanley oh. felt the cool breeze upon his skin. I was playing this when I was younger. Before I even know he knew the you. Possibility and of the new path my dad looked over. Your mic's a little this was janky. Exactly Want to try that again? Right now, All right, hold on. Go the things were meant to happen. And Stanley was happy. Okay, so I was playing this when I was younger. Achievement log beat the game. Uh, thank you, everyone. Uh, it's definitely been a good run, even though it's been like uh, 12 minutes. Uh, what the fuck? You're not done yet. You really think it'd be over just because you got one ending? Damn. Oh shit, it's that time already. It's that time already. It's tea time. Anyway, I'm playing this game as a kid, and my dad is uh, looks over from his computer, and he goes, "What is that, Minecraft?" <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is that laugh? No. <laughs> no. All of his uh -huh. co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Things do uh, change. Very minute things, so don't just go through rooms, like, immediately. Stanley went like, around touching computer. every little thing in the office, but it didn't make a single a computer, difference. computer, you fool! Nor did it oh. advance the story in any way. Mm hmm? You have received input. Hold on, this yeah, like, I have to see. Oh. It's, I love the coffee cup that says, who farted? That's a good question. Who farted? Someone far in here? No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. I seem to remember something. Uh, go back. Uh, what do you remember? Can you climb on the desk? Relax, dude. Fucking calm down. <laughs> I can't jump, so I gotta think of something. Oh, oh, that. There we go. Okay, now chill out. Can you wait? The window. The window. Where was the window? Uh... I die. At first, Stanley assumed he'd broken the map until he heard this narration <laughs> and realized it was part of the game's design all along. He then um, praised the game for its insightful and witty commentary into the nature of video game structure and its examination of structural narrative tropes. So, now that you're here, what do you think? Isn't this a fun and unique place to be? Why don't we take a minute just to drink it all in? Um, okay, I'm over it now. What do you think? Are you sick of this gag yet? Uh, this gag being like using a broken... Boundary as a comic or something? But just answer the question. Well, I don't know how to say this politely, but you could literally just hit escape and restart the game any old time you want. Like, right now. You could have done it just then. Now would also be an appropriate time to quit. Any of these points and so many, many more, all of them are appropriate. 
I'm enjoying what seems to be an internal conflict going on where you are literally unable to act <laughs> on your own desires to restart the game. So she just to push the end, <laughs> I'm going to try and make this as miserable as possible and see how long you can maintain. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> you just cross there your once arms. was a man named Stanley who people considered so manly. But the truth must be told, he was not very old and was quite particularly gangly. Yeah, I'll take what the liked most was buttons. Yeah. He pushed them like some kind of glutton. He did it all day in a meaningful way, but his brain had long ceased to function. Yeah, it's just because my hands off the mouse parable. wipe right now, you shouldn't be. And lives in existence. <laughs> I bet you're. I bet you're actually sitting in your chair, you crossed arms, grumpy face. And keep playing along, you too will become quite unbearable. Yes. You too will become quite unbearable. The best you got. I think there. I think you do have to actually restart the game. Yeah, fine. Try doing that, but click no. No, resume the game. I mean, go outside the fucking window. <laughs> All of his co-workers were gone. Yeah, what could that. it mean? Stanley decided to go. Something to the could meeting. change. I don't know. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. At first, Stanley assumed he'd broken the map, until he heard this narration and realized it was part of the game's design all along. He then praised the game for its insightful and witty commentary into the it's, nature of video yeah, game structure explore all the nook and, and crannies, its examination all the of and grannies. narrative tropes. So, now that, that you're here, what do fun. you think? Isn't this a fun and unique place to be? Why don't we take a minute just to drink it all in? Okay, I'm over it now. What do you think? Are you sick of this gag yet? A bit. Ah, then in that case, we'll continue. But now, here comes the real question. What do you think would have happened if you had told me that you wanted this to stop? Well, you'd start doing the whole Stanley sucks, Stanley sucks, Stanley. <laughs> fucking sucks. What it? The doom, 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 doom. Copyright's a bitch. Doing? It'll take your video right the fuck down like a bitch. <laughs> what are you doing? Just play the game. <laughs> Do you think it would have been particularly different? Would I have taken the same idea but rephrased it superficially to fit that answer? Perhaps you never would even have thought of it if I hadn't brought up the issue in the first place. Oh, now think about it. Will it be worth it for you to restart and then come back here just to do the other option? Clearly, yeah, this we were called out. Oh, you some time. have no idea. What if the other option is even longer? How long would you spend in total just to have heard all the narration? Oh, and this is rich. Perhaps you've just played the other option, and now you've come to see what happens in this one. So, what do you think? Which choice was the better one? Imagine if you had selected continue on your first playthrough, how tantalizing it would be not knowing what happens <laughs> when you pick the other option. Indeed, you are one of the lucky ones. Though, if the other option is really miserable to listen to, then perhaps you're not. In fact, I'm just going to say that no one who's listening to this is lucky. Well now, I've built up the other option so much that I'm going to stop talking and leave you to your decision whether to come back here, continue with the game, or just sit in this spot forever and ever. Cheers. Okay. All right, I think it's done. Okay, no more of that bullshit, all right? All right, so that's one ending. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps Burp. he had simply missed a memo. Burp. Oh, look, another one. Hey, man, change spots. Well, I, yeah, but it's not going to be the same computer. It's different computers that will activate a new thing. Look, see, it's two. Hmm. Curious. Curious you and curious her. Stop that. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, this was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Yeah, I just coincidentally found the lounge. 
<laughs> the lounge. That's a, it's another meeting room. Ah, oh. yes, truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. He got a soda from the soda machine. Unfortunately, the soda machine was out of soda, and he just got air. He drank the air. Yes. Busy. Really, really worth it being here in the room. A room so utterly captivating <laughs> that even <laughs> though all your co-workers have mysteriously vanished, here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. Really worth it. Yes, this does keep going. The question is, do you want to stay here for that long? At this point, but eager to get back to business, yeah. Stanley took the first open door on his left. That puts oh, you back period. on the main path. Hey, really? Well, what's yeah. with the thing? Actually, yeah, that might be new because of the deluxe edition. And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. I like that you're looking at the door and you're like, droop, into the elevator. <laughs> Nonchalance. 